Hello, I'm Jason Stewart with CDS John Blue Company, and we have a few new products this year we want to talk about. The first one, we won an AE50 award for this year, and it's a VisiGage Orifice Selector. So it's a self-contained Orifice system that has uh, that you don't you can go and uh, all your Orifice changes are all ganged together on top of the VisiGages, and uh, there's no more walking between each row and, and changing out individual discs. You just you have four uh, positions you can select between. Um, to, to choose from for, for which uh, gallons breaker you're going to do. And we also, we give you two plates, so it, there's like a low and a high range. So the low covers pretty much all planner applications and the high range covers applicators. And uh, we have uh, an app to help you choose which, uh, which plates you want to use. And also in the user manual, we also have a chart. You can have a hard copy. Uh, another new product we have for, for this year is uh, the ISOBUS version of our liquid blockage monitor. It has many of the same features as our iPad version has. And, uh, which, and, uh, and ours is the only one that uh, can detect low flow and has a user adjustable um, ball position uh, alarm. So you, uh, depending on where your balls are floating, you can set the alarm uh, one or two levels below that and, uh, and it will sound that. So you can get partial blockages in addition to total blockages. But this uh, is people that don't want to have their cab cluttered up with a bunch of screens um, and maybe they didn't want to add an iPad to their, to their cab. Uh, this can go and it'll display on their virtual terminal and it'll sound the alarm from the background when they're, when they're in another screen. Our third new product for this year is uh, the next generation centrifugal pump. And so we've redesigned the uh, self-priming pump to have more flow uh, and, and other user features uh, such as uh, easier, easier user maintenance. Uh, we, have, we updated the seals to have a large O-ring and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, a lesser number of fasteners to, to make the change quicker. Uh, we still have the same uh, double uh, wet seal uh, technology uh, to, for when users run their tank dry, it won't destroy the seal. But uh, another new thing is a, a patent pending uh, inlet design where they can configure between a center inlet with a, with a flapper valve to, for the self-priming feature, or they can flip it over to be more like our um, traditional way that we did it, uh, where you flood the, the impeller by having the inlet up high. And so uh, there are various reasons why you might do that. If you ha when you have it up high, all the, the fluid that you have pumped up into the uh, outlet line can drain back through there and you don't have the, the outlet line full of fluid. Um, or you can do it the other way and get the higher flow by having the, the, the center inlet. But we're going up to 400 GPM now uh, on when you're using a 13 or a 15, 13 horse gas or a 15 horse electric uh, on our SP pump. And uh, you can also have a 10 horse uh, pump and with a lower lower max capacity, but uh, 400 GPM is what we're up to on this now.